In this video, QRadar support explains all about the agent config file in WinCollect 10. Let's take a look at the new agent config file. We've looked at the, the tuning and how it works a little bit. Um, let's go over to the agent config file. And it can be found in the same location as it was with WinCollect 7. So C program files, default directory, IBM config. And inside there, you're going to have that agent config file. If we open that up, now I have, um, you know, I got the remote sources here added right now. I've got my security, I got the credentials set, but even without that, um, for those, you know, familiar with WinCollect 7, you know, it was pages long and here we're looking at an agent and it's like 20 lines of, you know, data here in this XML file. And we can really look at this and we can, you know, see exactly what the agent is doing. Um, and, and you know that is was our goal is to make this easier to read and to edit if we take a look here at the top section you know we have the the agent name so we have the agent name we have the identifier that's going to be used so this identifier here would show up in your in key radar with the, you know the WinCollect DSM at and this name and then we have the status server. So this is where those heartbeat messages and the status servers are, you know, those messages are being sent to. Um, with this agent, I, I use the IPs when I installed this, but you can use, we, we recommend using host names, of course, if DNS is properly configured, but I have here the IP address set. And then if I go down here, I have a destination set. Um, this destination is called uh, QRadar. Again, because this was the quick install of this agent when I installed it, um, we basically just had to specify uh, a destination to send the to the events to those three channels down here below, which is the application system and security. So we could see here that you know this local source it's using the Windows Event Collection you know protocol MS even six. Um, it's sending the the uh, the events to this destination here called QRadar, references this IP address, and those are the three channels. It's pretty easy to read, it's all, like there's not much to it at all. Um, if we expand onto what I've done here post install, so we just went in and we installed, or we added the HR workstations. So we could see that we've added the that Josh admin account here and we added that remote group called HR Workstations. We can see that it's using that credential set and it's also using the MS Even 6 uh, Microsoft Event Protocol. And then below that, we have some more details about the agent. So we can see where the destination is it's sending and the three channels that this group is collecting. So we have the list of the 100 agents here, and that basically sums up the agent config file. So with, you know, 100 remote devices, we're looking at, you know, about 130 lines. Whereas in, you know, WinCollect 7, that would have been pages upon pages of, of information. So Let's say if we want to, you know, make a change to one of these agents or to this agent, say if I don't want to collect the application event channel anymore, I would just go in here, remove that line, save it, and then restart the agent. So that is something that you have to be familiar with, with, you know, modifying the agent config file directly. Um, you have to. Uh, restart the agent for the agent to pick up those new changes. Uh, with the console, the way the console works is the console is behind the scenes is taking a patch file. So inside these patch directories, there's a file here called an update from. And these update script files are basically the set of instructions of what you need or what the agent needs to do. So here, this update script was me going in and adding the new credential set and adding that HR workstation. So we could see here that that is the update script that was used. And once it processes it, you have the 
old agent config file and we also show you the new agent config file so after everything's been replaced and everything is good to go in the new agent config file we we save that there so that you can go back in time so like if you made any changes you can go in and see okay so here's the agent basically straight out of the box right so with the quick install you can see that I've gone in oh I've added a remote group so you could step through the agent config files and you could see what has been done to your agent